Welcome, this is Teacher Jeffrey. Our topic is about characteristic features of plants using agents of pollinations like insect and green. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button below and the bell button for notification for upcoming topics. If it hasn't reached your understanding about the topic, then click like. Comment below yes. Let us start and dive in. Agents of pollination. These are insect and queen. In sexual reproduction in plants, the pollen, which is the male sex cell, must be transferred to the female part, which is the carpel. It must land on the stigma of the carpel. The process is called pollination. The plant must adapt to attain the condition needed for pollination to take place. Let us consider the characteristic features of a plant with flower that uses insect as agent of pollination. We will discuss its characteristic feature. If a flower uses insect for its pollination, the characteristic feature of such flower must be able to attract insect. And the next question is why only the insect and not other animals to become an agent of pollination? So this we will answer after we learn about the characteristic features of an insect pollinated flower. The insect pollinated flower must have a large, bright, and colorful petals. Its petal must provide a guide for the insect to locate the sugary nectar that gives a sweet smell or sweet scent. This is called the nectar guide. Its reproductive parts, which are the stamen and the carpel, must be located inside the flower. The carpel and the stamen are supposed to be enclosed in its petal. Its pollen must be large compared to that of the wind-pollinated flower and it should be sticky. Its stigma must have a surface that is sticky as well for easy landing of the pollen to the female part. We mentioned about the characteristic features of an insect-pollinated flower. Our answer for the question above only insect can help pollinate the flower as it is small and its structure will be preserved and not damaged. How about the plant that uses wind to pollinate? We will talk about it in the next slide. The wind pollinated flower. The wind pollinated flower must use wind in order to transfer the pollen grain to the stigma. So this should have a characteristic feature that adapt in using the wind to better and effectively move the pollen to the stigma. Firstly, let us consider its petals. The plant does not need to attract insects. Its petal sometimes is absent, or if there is, it is small and dull. So there is no need of nectar guide as well. As nectar is not released in the flowering plant, there is no scent produced. The reproductive parts must be located outside as it needs to make use of the wind for pollination. The pollen must be small and light. Its stamen must be like a pendulum and long. Its stigma must be feathery in order to catch the pollen. This characteristic feature of a plant will use wind as its agent of pollination. Thus, it is called a wind-pollinated flower. To summarize, we describe the characteristic features of an insect and wind-pollinated flower. We start with the petal. The insect pollinated flower has petals that are large, bright, and colorful, while the wind pollinated flower has no petals. If it has, the petals are small and dull. 
Production of Nectar The production of nectar is to lure the insect to provide food as exchange for helping in pollination. That is true in insect pollinated flower, while the wind pollinated flower does not. Scent that the nectar emits The insect pollinated flower is scented, while the wind pollinated flower is not scented. The presence of nectar guide in its petal. The insect pollinated flower provides a nectar guide for insect to locate the sugary nectar, while the wind pollinated flower does not have a nectar guide. The pollen. In the insect pollinated flower, the pollen must be larger than the wind pollinated flower. It must be sticky to attach to the hairy body and legs of the insect, while the pollen of the wind pollinated flower must be small and light for easy flight using the wind for pollination. The stigma. The stigma of the insect pollinated flower must be sticky in its surface to ensure better landing of the pollen, while in the wind pollinated flower the stigma must be feathery to be efficient in catching the pollen better using the wind. The anther. In the insect pollinated flower, its anther is short, while in the wind pollinated flower, it is long and pendulous. And lastly, the location of the reproductive parts. The insect pollinated flower, the stamen and its carpal are located inside the flower. It is encased inside its petal. While in the wind pollinated flower, these are located outside. These are the differences between an insect and a wind-pollinated flower. This is our topic for today. We've learned about the characteristic features of an insect and a wind-pollinated flower. Click that subscribe button. Learn for more science and biology topics. This is Teacher Jeffrey. A goal without a plan is just a wish.